RVB Shard here to inform you all of a medical epidemic that is sweeping through the Halo 2 community. Nubitis. Yes, Nubitis. This horrific affliction is highly contagious to inexperienced players, and the early symptoms can include camping like a slut and thinking you're all that. Oh, I owned your ass, you noob! Get pwned! Get oh, on, you noob! Such a noob! Trash talking obviously superior players. <laughs> and being under the delusion that the sword is the best weapon in the game. Yeah, so what's it like being like a noob and stuff, you know? Pretty good. Who the sword? Right here, bitch! No noobs! These symptoms can be treated if caught early, by practice and a large dose of gaming experience. However, the more advanced stages of the nubitis need more aggressive treatment, and to combat these symptoms, which can include using the noob combo and believing you're God. <laughs> Running around with the rockets and sword and calling yourself the whirlwind of doom. Having a clan leader that's seven years old. And finally, if you call everyone you kill a noob, then you suffer from nubitis. These symptoms cannot be cured, however there are some preventative medications that you can take to temporarily remove these symptoms. Simply take two of these blue pills and shove them right up your ass. Or have a third party do it for you. This will cure the symptoms of advanced nubitis for about five seconds. Cause that's how long it'll take you to respawn. If you're unsure of administration of these drugs, here's a quick demonstration. Enjoy! Finally, a general health warning. If you look like this, then it's terminal. There is no cure for you. Please, throw yourself in front of oncoming traffic and rid the world of your idiocy. Huh, I can say this because I don't live in America, so screw you, Bush. You suck. Nubitis isn't actually a medical condition, it's just another phrase for being a complete and total asshole. Batteries not included.